Horror Stories Fanatics. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell sign so you don't miss any of our posts. The Cursed Dollhouse, a Victorian-era relic, was bestowed upon a young, unsuspecting girl as a simple gift. The dollhouse, complete with ornate detailing and miniature, lifelike dolls, appeared innocuous at first. As time passed, however, a string of inexplicable events began to unravel around it. The once charming playtime took a macabre turn when the dolls within the house were discovered repeatedly rearranged, chillingly mirroring real-life murder scenes. An inescapable dread began to pervade the household, forever linking the dollhouse with a sinister aura of horror. As the incidents escalated, the little girl started to develop an eerie connection with the dolls. She would often be seen whispering to them, her eyes vacant, and her demeanor unusually aloof. The family, alarmed by the transformation, sought advice from local clergy, believing a malevolent spirit manipulated their child through the dolls. To their dismay, the clergy were unable to offer any meaningful assistance, admitting their bewilderment at the inexplicable occurrences. The family was instead directed towards a renowned spiritualist, famous for her knowledge of the arcane and her ability to communicate with the spirit world. Desperate for answers, they invited her into their home. Upon her arrival, the spiritualist was immediately drawn to the dollhouse. She circled it, her discerning eyes scanning the miniature figures and the grotesque tableau they depicted. After hours of silent observation, she finally broke her silence, her voice echoing ominously in the tension-filled room. She revealed that the dollhouse was possessed by a restless spirit, a Victorian-era murderer who had met a tragic end. It was using the dolls to relive his gory past, dragging the innocent child into his world of darkness and dread. The only way to end the terrifying events was to destroy the dollhouse, severing the connection between the spirit and our world. Upon hearing this, the family was filled with fear, yet fueled by a resolve to end the nightmare. They gathered around the cursed dollhouse, clutching tightly onto their faith and each other. With a heavy heart, the father set the dollhouse ablaze, the flames hungrily consuming the object of their terror. As the dollhouse crackled and crumbled in the fire, an eerie silence blanketed the household. The figures inside the dollhouse, once lively and detailed, were now blackened and lifeless, their grim tails reduced to ashes. The young girl, torn between fear and loss, watched as her beloved plaything was reduced to embers. In the days that followed, a palpable sense of relief filled the air. The once oppressive aura of the house had lifted, replaced by a newfound sense of peace and tranquility. The little girl, no longer the puppet of an unseen force, began to regain her cheerful personality, her laughter once again filling the rooms. The cursed dollhouse, now but ashes and a haunting memory, served as a potent reminder of the thin veil separating our reality from the unknown. The family, forever scared by the experience, would go on to share their chilling tale warning others of the deceptive charm of innocent playthings and the unseen dangers they may harbor. In conclusion, the tale of the cursed dollhouse serves as an eerie testament to the enigmatic realm of the supernatural, where innocent playthings can turn into objects of terror and reality can often blur into a chilling nightmare. The story serves as a chilling reminder of the unknown and the mystical, forever lurking at the edges of our understanding waiting for an opportunity to reveal itself. Thanks for watching Horror Stories Fanatics.